In terms of future growth drivers, how hard is AMD pushing on the high-end uh, GPUs needed for the AI market and with the MI300X chip? That's the question, Sri. Uh, they're pushing very hard. R&D is going up. They're investing um, quite aggressively in AI, and, and I think understandably so. And we see what's going on with NVIDIA and really the massive demand uh, across uh, the the biggest cloud service providers out there. I think there is demand, not think, we know there's demand for alternative sources to NVIDIA's dominance, as, as you mentioned. And so AMD, in our view, is the, at least for now, the only viable alternative to what NVIDIA has created with their uh, GPUs, the H100 and A100 platforms that they're, uh, they've been very successful with, and, and we continue to think they'll be very successful with. But as AMD discussed on their conference call just now, this is a massive TAM. Uh, by 2027, AMD thinks that we could be talking about $150 billion TAM out there. And uh, to the extent that AMD can gather some share, whatever percentage share of that TAM uh, they can get, I think that uh, that could translate into some really um, interesting uh, movements in, in the company's model. So they're, they're driving very aggressively towards that. There is a lot riding on then on uh, MI 300X. It's going to be tested in Q3, comes out in Q4. Uh, do you think AMD is going to be able to uh, stick to those uh, timelines? And if they do, uh, then is that worth, how much of an upgrade is it worth if they really do deliver uh, on this promise? And uh, to what degree, uh, once again, Ruben, does it move the needle uh, materially on the revenue stream? It's certainly, um, we believe that they are on track. They have real, uh, they talked about again on the conference call and the press release today, AI engagement's going up 7x, seven times, quarter over quarter, uh, Q2 versus Q1. And so I think there's a lot of excitement around the product. Investor focus certainly is going to be centered on whether or not the cloud service providers, you know, are, are you know, going to qualify and then actually put these uh, platforms into real volumes. And, and I think we're not going to have an answer to that until next year. But to your point in Q4, there will be some real net revenues coming through on the AMD model. Initially, AMD has done a great job in engaging with uh, governments, supercomputers, et cetera. And so the big, big move we're expecting in Q4 is going to come from a supercompute um, ramp, El Capitan it's called, and that's worth a few hundred million dollars in MI300. But that's a real design win that's going to ramp in Q4. What we really want to see is uh, whether or not these CSP engagements then translate into some real volume for MI300 in 2024. We think it will. Like we said, a lot of these CSPs need alternative sources. If for nothing else, and is having a tough time um, finding supply out there. So uh, it, it's great to have a second supplier with a part that can potentially, um, you know, kind of train these large language models that uh, need to be trained. So that's what we're going to be looking forward to, but certainly we'll see some evidence of revenue flowing through the model by the end of the year. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.